Yes. We're here at the Tether Worldwide Headquarters with Spencer Proffer. Now, Spencer, before yes, I ask you like 500 questions, I have to do this thing. Please, I, yeah. I got to, well, what you is, know, it's a, it's a talk show. That's not a guild, show. is it? Or what is it? It's a Martin. That's a Martin. Oh, that's, you know, that's uh, as good as it gets. Uh, it's a talk show. You got to start with a song, right? Absolutely. Okay. So I have to, sure. it has to be about you too, because it'd be rude otherwise. Uh -oh. Let's see, here we go. Spencer Proffer, oh, isn't that nice? Got a Tony and a Grammy and gold records on ice. Two pugs in LA and a beautiful wife. Oh, Spencer Proffer. What do you have to offer? There we go. Okay. My, my That's heart, song. Now my if you soul, see, and my now wait, now, that, now if you got that, that little ending, Spencer Proffer, what do you have to offer? That's, that's a little nod to Hamilton. I Hamilton. Have, I love that. My favorite show on Broadway. Oh, he's, I'm, I'm so jealous. He's seen it and I haven't. Well, I haven't thank Judy loved. for that because she got the tickets. Oh, it's so good. So, Spencer, yes, Spencer, we, we met each other some months ago, mm -hmm. and it's like all of a sudden I found this long lost brother. Look at your pedigree. First gold record, what was it? Paul Anka, if you can believe that, being the rock guy that I am. Paul Anka. Paul Anka, 1974. Amazing songwriter, yeah. Paul Anka. Talented guy, had an attitude and he shared it with the world and he did good. Wow. And then what about that one like heavy metal-ish one that, that we've heard of? Oh, that one. Yeah, Quiet Riot, come on, feel the noise, baby. Come feel the noise. Oh, now, now, a, a little well, bang, point. Bang your head. Yeah, now, that's amazing, you know, that, that <laughs> you produced that record. But, you know, just a little note, just, I was so into music growing up, and it, it's never left me. But when Quiet Riot came out with Come Feel the Noise, I was actually offended because I was a huge <laughs> fan of Slade, yeah. who wrote that song and who sang that song, who... That was the first concert I ever went to. I grew up in Kentucky, Nashville, Tennessee. I went and saw Slade. I, I had it S L A D E on my hands like when I went did. there. Like they did on the cover. Yeah, like they did on the cover. Bang Your Head was who they were and what it spoke to. Come on, feel the noise. It's the sequel in the videos and the sequel mm. in the movement that mm. you wanted to have anthem participatory rock. You wanted to invite people. Anthemic rock. To join you. You have such an interesting history from. UCLA quarterback to law school graduate to Clive Davis and in your your path th and now you're working on these uh, and you've been generous enough to bring me in on some of these amazing projects like a, a Hendrix project a, a John Coltrane project I mean these are just you can't get more iconic than that it's such a pleasure to um, bring passion for what 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 really drives you to your work and that's exciting. When you can find your passion in life together with a way to make money off of it mm -hmm. and help people at the same time, all those things coming together, I mean, what, you know, what a lucky place to be in. And it doesn't come by accident. It's, you build it brick by brick. That's what I've done with my life. And, you know, it's interesting. We've been on the same highway on different lanes. And now the lanes, the highways got narrower. Our lanes have intersected. Well, you're you're all about these circles, these circles of connections. And you know, you mentioned Tim's story. And through these circles of connections, you've managed to be associated and win uh, Golden Globes, Tonys, Emmys, Grammys. I didn't uh, win them all. I was part of projects that did. I don't have my own statue, but I have my next door to them because projects that I had produced won them. The projects were bigger than me. That's amazing. And that's, that's what I really uh, loved about being associated with you is that you are so generous. You're so generous with um, those introductions, those bringing people into your circle and joining one circle to another circle for a greater good. I, I love that about you. Well, thank you. When I try to describe you to people, what I say is he is a Hollywood guy. He's a Hollywood guy in that he's associated with all these musicians, actors, producers, all that. He's a producer and all that. But he doesn't act like that because you're genuine, you're real, and that's that's rare. That's rare because you, the way you treat people, the way you interact with people, the way you trust people. Um, it's my upbringing, know. Stanley. My parents were refugees. They're immigrants. I wasn't born in America. My ethos and my DNA is not Hollywood. 
happen to live in Encino, not even in Hollywood. But my heart isn't Hollywood. My heart is humanity. My heart is the world. Wow. Well, here's to bringing entertainment, branded entertainment, joy, laughter, peace, all these different things through all these amazing uh, projects that we're working on. Here's to bringing them to a, a great wide audience to bring them that joy. And have fun doing it. Yeah. Amen to that. Okay. All right. Thank you, brother. All right. Thank you.